Hey guys, we're back at the house. After that long, drawn-out shopping trip of looking for hamburger buns and hamburger meat, we ended up getting everything we needed, plus some more. Now, normally, I'm the one in the kitchen doing all the cooking. But because it was my dad's idea to eat burgers tonight, I let him be the chef, and I just assisted. My dad's been going on for a few days about how fast food burger joints don't taste like real meat. He's like, every time we go to Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, the meat just tastes so artificial. And you know what? I would have to agree. I personally don't like eating out at a lot of fast food restaurants. I'll rather cook my food at home. Plus, you know, it's nice to sit down at a table and eat with your family. It's also nice to prepare and provide that meal for your family. Okay, back to cooking. My dad was trying to mimic a gourmet burger he had at one of these fancy restaurants. He made sure to get smoked gouda cheese and thick cut bacon, lettuce and tomatoes, pickles, onions, Duke's mayo, and any other side he could think of. I was like, you fancy, huh? He was like, you know, I was just trying to eat good. Well, Daddy cooking? <laughs> Dad cooking. <laughs> Daddy cooking? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to prevent that from happening but you know my dad was the main chef and I was just following his instructions my sister's the real hero she knew exactly what to do she stopped those smoke detectors from chirping in like two seconds I was glad that the food was about ready it had been a long day and your boy was ready to tear down. My sister made her own rendition of mac sauce. And it was pretty good too. Now for the moment of truth. Mm, when I bit into this burger, I felt happiness. It only took me a few minutes and I finished that bad boy. My mastication process was quite speedy in that endeavor. That was good.